Hey guys, so I come to you with a pretty interesting topic and it's taken me a long time to get it right and get it to a point where I think that it's right for you guys. I'm not introing with a funny corny joke like I normally would because it's something so serious to me and it means so much to my heart. So, you know, let's just... Let's just get to it, and uh, let's talk about our mental health today, and what it means to nurture your mental health. Let's get to it, you guys. Explosions fire. Hello, Serial Squad. I know that this is, well, a week late and a day late, so a day late and a dollar short, whatever. Serial fire. Explosions fire. Fire. Late, I'm late. Serial fire. And I'm sorry, um, but this kind of, it took a while for me to get together. Um, it took a while for me to actually, you know, figure out how I wanted to film this video because it was very important to me and so I wanted to put as much work into it as I possibly could and you know I had a lot of ideas rolling through my head as far as what my next vlog would be and what what I was going to bring to you guys and serial fire um and I had a serial squad member um come to me with a very good point. Cereal, fire! You know, she came to me with, um, the cereal, um, with the point of mental health awareness. And, um, it's a lot of things, a lot of, a, a lot of, a lot of questions, or a lot of talking points that I've come up with, and a lot of things that I've come up with, um, are things that aren't really talked about. Um, so, if you're struggling with your mental health, or you're struggling with accepting a diagnosis, this video is for you. Cereal, fire, <whistles> cereal. But I wanted to make sure that I got, you know, I got this together the right way. Cereal, fire. And, you know, I, <whistles> cereal. And I also wanted to make sure that I didn't, I didn't steer you guys wrong in any direction, um, whatever that might be. Um, so, you know, with all of that on my plate and trying to make sure that I get the right video for you guys, I also had everything with um, SBSK um, going on and I wanted to make sure that um, that video got out there. And so, you know, I've, I've been extremely, extremely busy. Serial! Um, but, you know, <clears throat> I, I feel as if this is something that affects all of us, regardless of if you have a diagnosis or not, um, you know, it's, these are things that affect everybody, um, as far as, uh, tending to your mental health even. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget, you know, to get the bell on, because, you know, that way you know next time it's time for TikTok. Um, and don't forget to leave your comments below. I know I didn't start today off with a joke, and that's just simply because it's such a serious matter. But get your comments down below. Um, and don't forget, if you haven't already, sign the petition for SBSK. Serial <whistles> fire. 
I'm going to put it in the link to this video as well, um, because it's, the fight's not over. I, I appreciate you guys being here. I, I, I couldn't be more happy to have all of you here. And the channel just keeps growing. Don't forget, after 3,000 subscribers, I'm going to go live for you guys. And I have no idea what that live video brings yet, but I'm extremely excited. And uh, so we are at 2,200 subscribers. So only a few more to go. But let's, let's jump right in. So, like I said, mental health serial fire is a serious matter. You know, it's no secret that I have Tourette syndrome and I have schizophrenia. And, you know, the, the Tourette's is more obvious and it's more of a neurological disorder, you know. But, you know, don't get me wrong. There are things that are very depressing and have a lot, give me a lot of anxiety about it. it used to. Not so much anymore. Um, but I, you know, going to work can be a challenge for me sometimes because I try to hold back my tics as much as I can and that gives me a lot of anxiety. And I'm on a lot of different medications to kind of counteract, well not a lot of medications, but a few medications to kind of counteract my tics and also just serial fire um also kind of counteract that anxiety that i get um so i take less on the medications when i'm filming you filming for you guys i um i usually haven't taken my medicine for you know it's usually almost time to take my medicine again is what i'm trying to get at so you know with the schizophrenia, it's one of those things that it, it is so important to know that no matter what mental illness you have, you know, what what's going on inside of your head does not rule your life. It can't rule your life. It's, it's a part of you. It's something that makes you, you. And... It's something that, you know, like, you know, without it, yeah, you'd still be you, but you wouldn't, you wouldn't be as interesting. But I, you know, I say all the time that, um, you know, coping with it is, you know, how, how do you cope with it? You know, that's, that's a really good question. Um, you get used to it. It's something that you kind of just start to adapt to. And you find different coping mechanisms. Um, serial fire explosions. Um, you find different coping mechanisms. Um, my go-to is, is, is music. I, I immediately, as soon as things start to churn in my head and I start to, I start to not get, you know, I start to get in a really bad headspace, um, like I was last weekend, actually. I just, I instantly turned to music. Serial fire! Um, and it, and it, there's just something about it. It doesn't matter to me what music it is, um, as long as it's music. And that's, that's important because you guys, you guys, I, I've made my life about music, serial fire, um, since I can remember. Um, I've played music, I've, I've, you know, I've played instruments, I've done everything I can to involve music in my life. It's not just that, it's making sure that you find a healthy coping mechanism. So, um, you know, another thing for me um, is sitting down and writing an episode of TikTok. Um, it just, you know, it, I block everything out and it's there. Some people, video games, any sort of, you know, 
a schizoaffective disorder, schizophrenia, you know, anything like that, you know, if you hear things, um, that's, uh, you know, blocking things out is one of the most important things. And so when you can block out those voices, those, you know, those hallucinations, anything that you're feeling, um, as far as, you know, I go at least, it's, it, it makes the, it makes a world of difference because, you know, if you can just take the time, you know, take an hour out of your day to be able to just be, you know, free of that. And, you know, sometimes, of course, it's not, it's not going to work. Sometimes you can be just so bad that it's not going to work. And that's okay. It's okay to be bad. That leads me to my next point. Serial fire. Um, that's developing a strong support system. And, you know, developing a strong support system is so important because it's okay, it's okay to be bad. It's okay to have those bad moments that you can't focus on anything. And that's fine because you have something that you can't control. Bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, schizoaffective disorder, multiple personality disorder, anything, any diagnosis that involves, you know, your mental health and your mental status, it's okay to not be okay. And that's one of the biggest things that you have to remember is having a serial fire, is having a support system is, is, even if it's just two people, it's fine. You know, my support system consists of three people. You know, three people that I know that I can go to no matter what. And so don't ever feel like you're alone because you're not. There's serial fired. There's so many people in this world that, you know, are going through the same things that you are. If you're on Facebook, look things up on Facebook. If you've just been diagnosed with something, look look up some support groups on Facebook. You know, some some that way you can get some connection with people that, you know, even if you're not commenting on things, you're not posting in those groups, you can get some connection with people that are going through the same things that you're going through. So that you can kind of see, hey, I'm not alone. And that's okay. And if that's your support system, that's your support system, you know. But having, you know, having a physical person is always ideal, especially when you get to those points to where you're so low that you don't think that you can just make it anymore. But it's, you know, I, I've always lived by the motto of it's okay to not be okay. How do you know when something's wrong? You know, we talk about building a support system for, you know, pre-existing disorders and everything, and, you know, you've been diagnosed with something, but what happens if you're, what if you, you, you feel like something's wrong, but you don't know whether or not it's real or not, like whether or not you, you know, it could be something wrong. For me, it was the complete depression, the decline in my physical health. Um, I wasn't paying attention to anything as far as my physical health went. Um, things just started to, you know, go downhill and went down fast. It didn't, it wasn't a slow, it wasn't a slow decline. It just, it was, it was, I mean, I just stopped paying. Serial fire, fire explosions. I stopped paying attention to anything about myself. Um, and, you know, I stopped, like, I mean, I stopped, you know, getting my hair cut. I stopped, you know, a lot of things. A lot of things that I'm not proud of. And, you know, I, I knew then that something was wrong. And I kept getting into these deep, deep depressions. Um, as far as schizophrenia goes, you know, there's kind of obvious symptoms that you know something's wrong. You're hearing things that aren't there. 
you're seeing things that aren't there and you're not sure are there. Um, you know, that's where starting your support system helps. Having a friend to be like, hey, is that what's going on there? You know, I've got a fr I've got that friend, you know, that I can just look at and be like, is that, or is that, you know, is that real or is that not? And so, you know, it's good to have somebody and it's not always easy to tell somebody, hey, I'm struggling with my mental health because it's not something that's talked about and it's, it should be, you know, um, but knowing when something is wrong is just as important as maintaining your mental health because knowing and, and re recognizing these, these symptoms, um, every, every disorder is different. Every diagnosis, serial fire is different. Fire explosions, everything's different. You're different. Fire, serial. Um, every, every diagnosis is different. And so there's nothing that I can, unfortunately, there's nothing that I can tell you that's going to pinpoint and say, hey, that, you know, this is what you have, blah, 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 blah. You know, all I can tell you is there's, make sure that you keep an eye on your physical health because that's the first thing that's going to go in decline when your mental health is in decline. Keep an eye on your daily activities. If you start doing things that you normally wouldn't do, sleeping more, um, you know, canceling uh, plans with friends, um, you know, not going out as often, not being as social, being more, you know, in, uh, what's the word, being more um, introverted. Um, even if you are an introverted person, being more introverted is is always a sign. Um, when you're just trying to not, you know, you, when you're trying to just focus on yourself. Um, because, you know, that's your sign. That's your brain telling you, hey, there's something wrong because we, we're, you know, hey, all systems down. Um, you know, like I said, keep saying physical health. Um, and everything else around you will go into decline when your mental health is at stake. So if you're questioning whether or not you have a diagnosis, get to your doctor as soon as possible. Talk to him about some of these symptoms that you're having, if you're having some of these symptoms, because it's important to maintain your mental health regardless of if you have a diagnosis or not. If you don't have a diagnosis and, you know, you need you need to figure out, hey, I'm in a little bit of a depression. Why? I don't know. And that's okay. It's okay not to know either. It's okay not to know why you're where you're at. Because things affect your brain in so many different ways. Serial fire. And... You know, it's it, it, it's one of those things that I wish that I could be there for each and every one of you to tell you that it is okay, but it's going to be fine. But I, 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 I can't be everywhere at one time. And so this is my way of reaching out to you guys and letting you know that you are okay. That serial fire, um, what you are experiencing is what you're experiencing and what you've experienced is completely valid and it's completely understandable. You just have to accept that, take it for what it's worth, and over the years that I've had these diagnosis, diagnoses, I've learned coping mechanisms to lessen my tics to lessen the voices, to lessen the hallucinations and, and everything else going on around me. And, you know, I've learned coping mechanisms throughout my day. Sometimes you just have to stop and focus on the moment.
That's another really good coping mechanism that I use personally. Um, stop, breathe for a second, and focus on what's going on right now. And, you know, sometimes like it's hard to focus with all of the, everything serial fire, intrusive thoughts, and, and so many things. But, you know, sometimes you just have to just block, you know, push everything away for just one moment so that you can focus and move past that. You know, they've got so many medications out there to help, but there's only so much medicine can do. You're still going to have good days and you're still going to have bad days, and that's just a fact. That's just, that's, you know, and that's, that's with anybody. Diagnosis or not, you're going to have good days, you're going to have bad days. If you have a diagnosis, your bad days are just probably going to be a little worse than a normal person normal person's bad days because you're still normal you just got a little bit of character to you and that's fine and that is okay you just have to accept it within yourself it's something that you have to come to terms with and be willing to work on to to strengthen your mental health to a point to where everything Everything doesn't revolve around the diagnosis. Serial fire, because it doesn't. You aren't your diagnosis. Your diagnosis is a part of you. So, knowing that, I hope that you guys can better cope with your mental health, your mental, any mental illnesses that you guys might face. You guys... I'm always here. I'm I I I'm I'm always here. I'm a click away if you just need to hear me. I'm a message away. Facebook. <clears throat> I you you guys can leave comments for me. I'm I try my best to respond to you guys, you know, and and I I love the comments that you guys put in 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 the section below because they make me realize and they keep me pushed forward. Um, you guys are amazing. You know, the things that you guys say, they brighten my day. When I'm having a bad day, I just look at the comment section because my serial squad, you guys are amazing. You guys are a family and it's amazing to me. It just, it, it, it blows my mind to think that three or four months ago, this was just a little channel, tiny, 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 and it's still tiny, but it's not as tiny as it was, and I owe that to SBSK, so go on and watch my video from a couple days ago about SBSK. I can't get into that. I've already filmed for almost 30 minutes. Uh, well, I filmed for 45 minutes, but you guys, thank you so much. And if you ever need anything, if you ever need anything, know you're not alone. You've got the Serial Squad, you've got everybody here, you've got me, and we're not going anywhere. So, I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video so that everybody can experience this and everybody knows how to handle their mental health. Serial fire, serial fire explosions. All right, guys, I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for seeing, uh, thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.